Sometimes the greatest gift that you can give to someone is to share the Word of God with them. There have been so many times in my life that when I've seen a friend or a family member that's suffering, or lonely or confused or angry, and I've thought, what can I say? What can I do? What can I tell them to help them out? And I get so exasperated because I can't think of anything to say. And the mistake that I've often made in the past is to think that I'm the one with all the answers, like I'm the one that can provide the missing link for their lives. There is only one Messiah, and it's clearly not me. <laughs> I went to Christian grade school, and every morning we memorized Bible passages until we were blue in our little baby faces. And at the time, I thought, how boring. But for years now, when I'm having a hard day or a tough time, those scriptures have a way of floating into my mind. Like this, and One's like, come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Let not your heart be troubled. My grace is sufficient for you, for God so loved the world. And now I treasure those verses in that time I spent learning them. So now when someone is suffering or in trouble, I think, say the word. Say the word to him. He's got the answers. I don't. We get letters all the time from people saying that someone shared the word with them and it forever changed their lives. And what we dream for in this song is that people will say the word, that they'll share it with someone else, that they'll say it to themselves. The Lord says his word will never come back empty. It will always accomplish his purposes. Say the word.